What's up, guys? It's Rob here, and today we need to talk about cannabis stocks pumping up big today. We've got some crazy news going on in the cannabis space. A lot of this involves Biden, his daughter-in-law, and cannabis dispensaries, and a whole bunch of stuff that we're going to crack into. And uh, just explain what's going on in the cannabis space in general, why cannabis stocks are pumping up. And we'll start off by taking a look at some of these cannabis stocks, including Sundial Growers, ticker symbol SNDL, up about 8.5% on the day. Tilray's up about 14.5%. Canopy Growth up about 14%. And Aurora Cannabis up about 12%. All of these stocks taking off today. You know, it's finally starting to set in that there are legalization initiatives in the Senate and that people are likely to pass some kind of legalization package this year. You know, it is an election year and no politician wants to be on the wrong side of this issue. They realize that the people are in majority support of these legalization bills, and nobody wants to go against the majority of people during an election cycle. So we're looking at a lot of these stocks moving up on potentially some realizations that this is the case, as well as some very interesting stories regarding regarding Biden and his daughter-in-law. So Biden's daughter-in-law was reportedly shopping at a cannabis dispensary with Secret Service protection. Meanwhile, the president is leaving cannabis prisoners behind bars. That's the headline of the story today. And Biden is certainly very unhappy to be seeing this. You know, it's kind of comical to see him sending the Secret Service to protect his daughter-in-law while she's buying cannabis, while it's federally illegal, while he's got people locked up and hasn't actually been, you know, doing all that he can to release these people who have been locked up for nonviolent cannabis offenses. Uh, in fact, you know, earlier this month, we just covered this in the last video, he reiterated that he doesn't believe people should be locked up over cannabis use and said that his administration is working on fulfilling the clemency promise. You know, if they were really working that hard, they could have had it done probably in the first couple days of the presidency. It didn't need to take, uh, you know, a year plus, And, you know, it still hasn't even happened yet. So he's getting a lot of flack for this, right? Nobody's happy to see that he's sending in the Secret Service, which is part of the federal government, not uh, state governments where where it's legal. It's part of the federal government to help go into a cannabis dispensary and help his daughter-in-law buy this stuff. Uh, Nobody's too happy to see it. He's getting a lot of flack. It's certainly not a good thing to be happening for him or the Democrats right before an election. And maybe this will help to sway some people's minds, Uh, maybe Biden's mind. Maybe he'll decide he has to start acting now that this story's out. He'll decide he has to start taking a bit of a friendlier stance since it's so public uh, how his family views it, at the very least, if they're willing to go into a dispensary and and buy this stuff. Uh, This could be very good for the cannabis space. Now, meanwhile, in the Senate, Cory Booker, who is one of the proponents for cannabis legalization, he's one of the sponsors of what he calls a gold standard legalization bill that we got introduced into the Senate that we're waiting for the Senate to approve. He is actually saying that he's open to compromises with this bill, which is overall a good thing. You never want to see a politician too uh, against making a deal because oftentimes that's what you have to do to get something through. He's saying he's open to compromises, such as passing a cannabis banking act with equity provisions. He's not gung-ho about making sure the entire package gets passed all at once. And overall, that's fine, right? We want to see at least some bills going through. If it's piecemeal, so be it. We would much rather see the full legalization bill going all the way through, but he is open to compromises. He's being a little bit realistic. And that's overall a good thing, right? It's going to make the other side more willing to compromise as well, instead of both sides just getting stuck in their viewpoints, not willing to change, not willing to take in other points of view. And overall, If we do start getting some of these initiatives passed, if we do start getting cannabis banking, it's just going to seem more and more reasonable as time goes on to pass the full thing to get full legalization going through. And a lot of stocks are moving up on, uh, you know, not necessarily this news in particular. Maybe it's the Biden news. Maybe it's this news. Maybe it's just a realization that legalization is somewhat inevitable in the near future. A lot of these stocks are moving up in fairly significant ways and will likely, in my opinion, be moving up much, much more in the near future. Now, we do actually have some quotes for the end of this video. We covered some of the news. Now we're going to cover some more timeless information that's actually fairly relevant uh, from two somewhat famous individuals. The first one is the most courageous act is still to think for yourself aloud. So always feel free to share your opinions, guys. The best thing you can do is think for yourself and then share those opinions with others because no one actually knows the truth for sure. All we've got our opinions and our thoughts. And the more that we share those with each other, the more likely we are to come to the right conclusion and to figure out what's really going on. So always feel free to share that. Don't worry about what other people think. The second quote, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. So even if someone's saying something and it's bothering you and you don't like it, think about why it's bothering you. Think about what inklings of truth are in that statement and why it's shattering your worldview, why it's pissing you off, whatever it is. Don't get too bothered by it. But do think about things. Don't just disregard them when people say this kind of stuff. 
And uh, even if you don't like it, try to listen to them. Try to be reasonable. Try to have a conversation. And try to try to come to some kind of conclusion with them instead of just writing them off and getting angry. So overall, these are two pretty important quotes. If you guys have any quotes that you think would be relevant to these, uh, to for anyone to hear, really, feel free to share them in the comment section down below, and maybe I'll include them in a future video. And other than that, guys, that is just a quick update on the cannabis legalization situation. We've got some updates on that. Obviously, you know, Biden is uh, Biden's in a bit of a pickle right now. A lot of people are upset about his daughter-in-law using the Secret Service to go buy cannabis with her. And uh, <laughs> we'll see what happens with that whole situation. But other than that, guys, hopefully, keep in mind, none of this is financial advice. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.